This video is going to show you a couple of different ways to prevent a server crashing brute force attack. Now, a brute force attack is when someone, usually a bot of some kind, continues to attack your login page by repeatedly trying to guess your username and password until it's successful and breaks into your site. Now, a couple of simple things you can do to help prevent the break-in is to never use easily guessed usernames like admin or test and to always use strong, unguessable passwords that contain a minimum of 8 to 12 characters. Of course, the more characters, the better. This is going to help against the actual break-in, but not the damage caused by the resources being consumed on your WordPress site server, fighting off all those repeated attempts by the bot to guess your login credentials. Now, this can be helped by a plugin that limits the number of tries by a particular IP address, and then that IP address is blocked for a specified time frame. A great plugin for this is called Limit Login Attempts. The problem lately, though, has been that certain bots and their brute force attacks are coming from tens of thousands of different IP addresses, which will shut down a server very quickly, even if you have an IP address limiting plugin installed. The plugin will prevent the break-in, but will not prevent the massive attack and the eventual meltdown of your server. Now, most hackers, when trying to use the brute force attack to break into your site, will do so through the wp-login.php file. Now, there are lots of quality plugins that will change your wp-login.php file to something else. So, instead of the login URL being mydomainname.com slash wp-login.php, which the hackers are targeting, these plugins will make it something like mydomain.com slash login or mydomain.com slash oh no you don't or any other custom name to that particular file. Now this fix will stop the brute force attackers dead in their tracks, but usually these plugins also have a ton of other settings that require very careful adjustments or your site's going to break. So basically all we need is a plugin that's going to change our login URL not use a ton of our server's bandwidth, and is super simple to configure. Now, before I introduce you to the plugin that I came across, I want to mention that if you are the only person ever to log into your admin area, like maybe it's not a membership site that you're running, then really you don't need to change your login URL. You just need to make your login page invisible to anybody except for you. And we can do that through a file on your root directory called the .htaccess file. And to do that, we're going to log into our cPanel control panel, come on down here to File Manager, and edit our .htaccess file. Now, if you're not seeing the .htaccess file in your root directory, probably because it's hidden. So to unhide this, come on back to our control panel here and click on the link for Legacy File Manager, and you're going to get this box that pops up. As a matter of fact, if you have just recently started with this particular hosting service and you've only logged into cPanel once or twice, you may still be getting this box popping up every time you do that until you check this box here to skip this question. So all you have to do at this point is just check this box here that says show hidden files, click on go, and those hidden files will be hidden no more. Now at this point, go ahead and select the .htaccess file, click on code edit or edit, either way, Code edit has numbers along the side here. Edit doesn't. But up here at the very top of the page, get you a couple of blank spaces up there and paste the following code. And I'm going to include this code as a copy and paste document along with this video so you don't have to worry about trying to copy all these details here. But that's it. All you have to do now is simply replace these hashtags or pound sign, whatever you want to call them, with your actual IP address. Now, where do you get your IP address in case you don't know? What you can do is just go to your address bar of your browser, type in whatismyip.com, no spaces, and then it's going to display your IP address somewhere up in this area here. Copy that, paste it in place of these hashtags, save, and what this will do is it will basically hide your wp-login.php file from anybody or everybody except for anybody that has this IP address, which is basically you. Keep in mind, though, that if you have a what's called dynamic IP address, in other words, one that changes regularly, then whenever you log into your WordPress site, you're going to get a forbidden page. Don't sweat it. Just find out what your IP address is again. Come on back in here. Put your new IP address in here, and you're good. And that also holds true with if you log in to your WordPress site from various locations. 
try to find the IP addresses of all those locations and put those in here. So that's one way to do this. And don't forget to click on save too. But if you don't want to go that route, and you definitely don't want to go that route if you've got a membership site, in that case, you're going to go with the plugin version. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, while there might be others out there, this is the one that I'm going to go with, WPS Hide Login. It does exactly what we're looking for and nothing else. Super lightweight, super easy to configure. So let's install and activate this. Let's head on back to our WordPress site, log into our dashboard area. And this could be the very last time you log into your dashboard area this way. But if you've never done this before, super simple. Come on up here to the address bar of your browser. Type in the URL to your WordPress installation, followed by a forward slash WP-admin. Hit enter. A box is going to pop up asking you for your login credentials. Go ahead and enter your username and your password. Click on login, and you'll be brought to this page here. Then come on over to plugins. Click on add new in the flyout. Then up here in the search plugins box, type in WPS hide login, hit enter, and then look for the one that says WPS hide login and click on install. Now I've already done that. That's why mine says installed. Otherwise yours will say install now. Then come on down here to where it's going to be installed. Oh yeah. And then of course, after you click on install now, you'll want to activate it. But once it's activated, come on down here to settings, either on the plugin page or you can come over here to settings in the left and click on general. It's going to take you to the same spot. Just come on down to the bottom of the page, and this is it. This is all there is to it. Now, by default, they put the word login in the box here. That'll work just fine, but you can change this to anything that you want. Just make sure that you click on Save Changes after you've done that. So now then, instead of our domain name slash wp-login.php, we have to use our domain name slash whatever word we put in there to be able to gain access to our login page. So let's go ahead and log out of here and give it a try. You see it's already replaced that wp-login.php with our new word. But let's try it with the old way. And you can go with wp-admin, which some folks do. You're going to get a page not found. Or wp-login.php, also page not found. So those bots that are coming to your site looking to brute force their way in, they're going to get this each and every time and go on about their business to some other site that's not as protected as yours. Now, if you want to learn more about brute force attacks, come on over to codex.wordpress.org slash brute force attacks. Don't forget the capitalization, the underscore, and the S at the end. And that's going to bring you to this page here at wordpress.org that you can learn a lot more about brute force attacks. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of this video on securing your WordPress site against brute force attacks. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.